So you have a modded console and don't know where to start? Or maybe you want to refresh everything? This video will show you how to set up the console using my head spec. Let's get started. I assume you bought a modded console without an SD card option, or you let other people mod your tablet and they didn't give you the boot files, or you want to start fresh. You are on the right track. So when you turn on a modded console, flashed with the HW FlyNX firmware without inserting the SD card, you will see this notification on the screen. For your information, you won't see the screen if your console is an unpatched V1 and not cheap, but you can follow some of this guide. Back to the topic, you have two options, press the power button to turn off the console or both volume buttons to get to the actual stock environment. I will press both volume buttons. And we are now running the stock environment without any patches. We can connect the console to the internet, play legit games online, access the eShop, etc. To get back to the Hecate loader screen, press and hold the power button, then select power off or restart. For your information, even you select power off, the chip will turn itself on after a while. It is not effective, but this is how the Horizon OS or the console's operating system works. So the chip power is triggered by the operating system. We don't know why they designed it like that. And now we can press the power button to turn off the console entirely. Now we will install the head spec. On most occasions, I always recommend using my head spec because it contains everything to boot your modded console and it is continuously updated. If you want to know the head spec in detail, you better visit the link to the GitHub page in the description below. Open the head's GitHub page and click Releases. Read the information on that page and scroll down. Download the combo version and save it to the desktop. Open the SD card on your computer. You need an SD card reader to do this operation. Then open the head spec and copy the content to the micro SD card. If you are updating the head spec's previous version, you better delete these folders before extracting the new one. Now we put the micro SD card into the console. And turn it on. You may set the date and time if you like, but usually I ignore it because it doesn't reflect the actual console date and time. And now we will set up the MUMMC as an SD partition. Those who already set up the MUMMC previously, do not follow this step or you will destroy its existence. Press Tools. Select Partition SD Card. Press OK. And move the red slider to 12GB. Click Next Step. Press Start. Then press the power button to confirm. Now press close, hit the home button, then select MUMMC. Choose create MUMMC. Select SD partition. I don't recommend selecting the SD file because it tends to corrupt, but you are free to choose any option you like. Press part 1. Now press close two times. Get to the home page and try to launch the MUMMC via the launch menu. Now 
We are now running the MUMMC. Let's open the system settings to find out the firmware version and suffix. As you can see, we can see the letter E as the firmware suffix. E means MUMMC. Now let's check the console's serial number. You can see that the serial number is blocked or hidden. The headspec utilizes the exosphere.ini file on any CFW mode that protects the console from getting banned when you accidentally or intentionally connect your console to the internet. Now press the home button and let's restart the console to get back to Hecate. And now let's launch the SysMMC. For your information, SysMMC is the stock factory firmware but with the CFW source. It is helpful for some reasons, like if you want to extract the game safe data from the stock NAND and transfer it to the MUMMC and vice versa. The best way to use the console is not to install NSP or run any app that automatically installs the shortcut at home like the tinfoil self-installer on the SysMMC. Use legit games only. However, running an Arrow homebrew apps is fine. Again, you can see the suffix, as means sys MMC, and when you check the serial number, it is blocked too, the same as the MUMMC. And now we will restart the console to get back to Hecate. To boot to the real stock, press the reboot button, then press OFW. For your information, launching the stock via the launch menu is not genuine but it is semi-stock because it bypasses the fuse count, so I discarded the icon. Since we are running the stock firmware, there is no homebrew menu when we load the album. And now we will check the console's serial number. Since it is not running the CFW, the serial number is exposed. Now let's get back to Hecate to back up the console's NAND. Backing up the NAND is essential, so if something terrible happens, you have a chance to revive the console. To back up the console's NAND, press Tools. Select Backup EMMC. Use EMMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. And then choose EMMC raw GPP. Make sure you have at least 30 GB of space inside the microSD card for the regular console and 60 GB for the OLED. After backing up the NAND, press close. Now we will dump the console keys. So get to the home page, then press payload. Select lockpick RCM. Press the power button to select dump from SysNAND. Then press any button to get back to the main menu and select Reboot to Hecate. And now we will remove the microSD card to move or transfer the dump files to a computer. Create a new folder on your computer and name it as you like. Then move or copy the backup folder to the newly generated folder. Then get into the switch folder and copy or move the prod.kiss file to the newly generated folder. And that's how you need to set up the console when you have it modded. Next, you can watch my guide about installing stuff like the DBI with the MTP responder method or other guides on my channel or website. Thanks for watching.